Hello Wanderers and welcome back to Skyrim. Thanks so much for joining me today as we take a look at a small starter player home in Windhelm, Bjornholt, by Mel Draws. According to the description, Bjornholt is a small stormcloak themed player home located in the courtyard of the Palace of the Kings in Windhelm. It is equipped with an alchemy lab, a kitchen, a smithing basement, a bed with a well-rested bonus, safe storage, and two shrines to Talos and Kinnereth. This home was specifically created with a Nord or Stormcloak build in mind, and I think that the level of detail that you find in it makes it feel so lived in and realistic that I would love to start a new game in that direction just to be able to start off in this home and grow my character from there. Of course, if I did that, I'd be a lot kinder to the elves and the Argonians. This house comes in at a minuscule size of 101 kilobytes, which makes it immediately a permanent pick for my load order. I really like the bare thematic that you find throughout the house and how all of these different assets have been used to decorate. It really, really feels realistic. I love it. Also, I have to say, I've never seen one of these beds before. I think they really did a great job with this model. Doesn't it look super comfy? Overall, what I appreciate the most about this mod is the attention to the detail of lore that has been added in. I really think that Sforzenda does a great job of porting over homes that really bring in a new side of Skyrim, bringing in buildings that are reclaimed or sort of part of the old world and making them your functional homes is a great way to start new storylines for yourself and imagine new ways of playing the game.
You come here where you're not wanted. You eat our food, you pollute our city with your stink, and you refuse to help the Stormcloaks. But we haven't taken a side because it's not our fight. Hey, maybe the reason these Grayskins don't help in the war is because they're Imperial spies. Imperial spies? You can't be serious. Maybe we'll pay you a visit tonight, little spy. We got ways of finding out what you really are. Oh. Do you hate the Dark Elves? Are you here to bully us and tell us to leave? You've come to the wrong city, then. Windhelm's a haven of prejudice and narrow thinking. Unworthy of one such as you. Nothing new there. Most of the Nords living in Windhelm don't care much for us, but Rolf is the worst by far. He likes to get drunk and walk around the Grey Quarter yelling insults at us in the small hours of the morning. Oh, a real charmer, that one. Some of these Nords will come up with any excuse to despise us. And it isn't just the Dark Elves they hate. They make a target of the Argonians as well. In fact, just about anyone who isn't a Nord is fair game for their bullying. saying that Aventus Aretino is doing the Black Sacrament, trying to summon the Dark Brotherhood? Oh, Grimvar, always with the nonsense. No, no, of course not. Those are just tales. Fine, then I'll invite him out to play. He lives right there. I'm going to knock on his door. No, child, wait! That boy, that house, they are cursed. Ha, then I'm right, I knew it! He's trying to have somebody killed. All right, I won't deny it, child. What you heard is true. But Aventus Aretino walks a dark path. His actions can lead only to ruin. Now, enough. We will speak no more of this. I am the only friend you need. All the Argonians at the docks are nice to me. Good thing, too. My father would run them off. lost anyone close? I still can't believe Isabella's gone. She was such a helpful young lass. I'm a writer by trade. Not that the people of Skyrim do much reading. I write drama, friend. The legends and history of Skyrim 
made to excite and inspire. Poor Gerard Germain at the Bard's College has been waiting for my latest work, Olaf and the Dragon. For weeks now, roads are a mess. You're sure? When you see Gerard ask for a tip, I'm sure he'll be in a good mood after reading this. May you lose yourself in the pages of a good book. Now, more than ever, the world needs tales of heroism. Every night, I walk around a gray quarter and let them grayskins know what I think of them. I'll find some way to finish my book. We ought to dig a big hole. Throw all them dark elves and Argonians in it. Need something? And let them tear each other to pieces. Yes? Thank you so much for joining me for another Player Home Mod Showcase. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe if you enjoyed the video. There's plenty more Skyrim content on this page, as well as other gaming content, so make sure you peruse through all the playlists and see if there's something you might like. Although I usually align with the Imperials, I do spend a lot of time enjoying the Stormcloak culture in the game. What do you pick when it comes time for the Civil War decision? Let me know in the comments below. Until the next one, friends, stay safe and happy wanderings.